want to show you how to install the page peels banners and how to use it uh, with the Joomla banner client and it's pretty simple so all we want to do is go to our back end choose installers modules and we're going to upload the module uh, let's look for it real quick right there it is go ahead and upload the file and it should automatically install it which it does Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to go to our comp components, banners, and we're going to go to manage clients. Now we have to create a new client and we're going to call it page peels. So we'll just go to page peels, enter in some personal information. And save that. After it's saved, you're going to look over to the right here under this client ID. It assigned it as a client ID of six. So we're going to go back into our modules. And this time we're going to go back into the page peel banner. We're not going to turn it on just yet, but we're going to turn off the show title. We're going to make this in the uh, right position and we're not going to publish it. Down here is the banner client. We want to make that a six because that's what uh, was created for us. And we're just going to save. Now we're going to go back into our components and this time we're going to go manage banners. Now we we created a 500 by 500 pixel by 72 dpi uh, pixel of the uh, the ad that we want to put in there. And so we, we need to save it as a JPEG file and then we're going to upload it. PNG will not work at this point. I've had problems with that myself. So we're just going to go ahead and locate that file which is right here. I'm going to upload it. Okay, now we're going to create a new banner, and I'm just going to call this one What Me Worry. And the client we're going to choose is the Page Peels. We're going to leave this as blank and unlimited. We're going to show the banner, and then we're just going to create a, uh, a link here. So anytime someone clicks on it, so we're just going to go to our other site screenerschoice.com and the am image uh, we're just going to choose that upload and we're going to save. And we're going to go back into our site modules and we're going to go ahead and publish it. You could be doing all this and if it's published if you have anybody on your um, site it's going to show prematurely so we just want to make sure that everything's up before we publish and that's really it. So we're going to go into the site itself and just kind of see what it looks like as it loads. There we go. Over here to the right, this is an unfinished site, so there's nothing over here. But over here to the right, if I click or just touch it, you can see. And if I click on it, it's going to go ahead and take me to the site that was linkable.